Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the Dubai International Motor Show. So, the Dubai Motor International Motor Show has been having all sort of vehicles from everyday passenger cars to supercars and some of the most ridiculous or slash insane cars or slash cool cars that have been displayed at this very exhibition as well. So in this video, I'm going to be showing all the top five insane slash ridiculous slash slash cool cars that are exhibited in this expo. Starting off with the first ridiculous or the cool or the fancy looking car is this one. Look at it. Now you would have probably heard about this car. It's from the company called Stride. Stride? Straight or Stride from Ukraine. So they've, they've made this, this model called as the Shaman coming down from the front side so it's a proper 8x8 eight eight, uh, eight wheel drive vehicle and this has a 2.4 liter diesel engine which produces 145 brake horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque now you may wonder why it said so less power but this is enough for this to go around everywhere because this isn't meant to break any speed records or go fast but this is essentially for for regions where roads aren't practically there so this vehicle can go into anything and also it can go into a puddle and not just puddle into a lake into a river and the, these tires that you see are special tires so it can paddle itself as well but this oh this is gigantic this is the, you know where where i when i am standing next to the vehicle i am right there that's where my face is so you can guess how tall this vehicle is and how huge this one is you also get a, a, another spare wheel for your one of the eight tires if they just break somewhere or 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 are punctured somewhere so yeah that's the and you've got just two doors and then the seating is inside so just giving you a quick walk around so it's a, it's a fairly long wheelbase as well and the, the whole uh, chassis is made out of steel and aluminium mixture of all of that there's no fancy carbon fiber but these vehicles also cost a bomb talking about another mad vehicle is this the the stride uh, it's from the same company that you see the shaman so stride is also the this this one is called as the sure so this one first let me tell you the facts it's got 1.5 liter petrol engine and and five speed manual gearbox the shaman had eight speed automatic gearbox uh, sorry six speed automatic gearbox and this one has a five speed manual gearbox and this has got four tires big ones as you can see this guy getting down how huge this vehicle is because this is the perfect way to show you how big these tires are so the tires if you see they have the the pedals as well, uh, the, the paddling uh, design as well so when they go into the water they can tackle pretty much any 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 sort of and also you see uh, the trailer at the back you can customize it to put anything sort of a loading area or also you can put the sort of a bus you can make like a like a bus as well so they have all these combinations from the company itself that you can spec around but essentially this has a 1.5 liter petrol engine that produces 44 brake horsepower and 88 newton meters of torque the top speed of this vehicle is just around 30 miles per hour but again who cares because this car isn't meant to go around and break speed records but this is something which is a utilitarian car vehicle or, or or gigantic truck you can say which can just tackle any region any terrain that you can see another amazing concept from mitsubishi was this one the E evolution concept it's a completely electric car that they made and this is just the 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 sort of uh, uh, design model that's it this this isn't anything that is going to be produced or anything but this is just a futuristic concept vehicle that they put up on display and then there are cameras for the side mirror but this has essentially an ai also built into it so this car can practically drive itself on its own there is also electric car technology the the finer details of this car aren't put up but you can see this is more of an suv-ish and sort of a long vehicle at the back it looks a very very futuristic kind of vehicle check out the interior and it's just madness this is what the future looks like i'm i'm giving mitsubishi 515 for the the future 
because I want them to make this vehicle. This is so cool. If this was the car you get to drive in, I mean, this is one of the most amazing concepts. Look at this. So this is a company called as a, a Lani and they have made this this concept that they presented here at the auto show so this one is being inspired from a dragon so it's called as the dracuma now this this supercar concept comes with a, to a v8 engine that produces 1200 brake horsepower but nothing more details have been divulged uh, apart from that and also this is still a concept so you don't see any doors or there is no interior so these guys are currently looking for investors and once they have investors they are going to start producing our uh, total number of 99 cars is what i know they are going to be making once they find the investment but if you see in the front as well you can see the the dragon inspired design and if i walk you around on the on the front side yeah look at that so those two dragon eyes and sort of those uh, fins that the dragons have also at the uh, at the back as well you can you can see the, the design is very much inspired from a dragon as well and you can see the subtle design like a ford gt and also there is uh, i'm guessing this is an air intake but there is no currently it's not open because i'm guessing this doesn't even have an engine at the moment if i show you at the back now this is also being inspired you can see the tail lights these are led tail lights and the rims are actually looking pretty cool pretty cool rims and apart from that you get this 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 uh, sort of light bar and the on the top and the the exhaustive which is a big one and again this is a concept vehicle so there is nothing inside that has been put there is no engine there i'm probably guessing these are the open vents that they'll do and also the exhaust that will be open once there is an engine that will be put up but the the, the aerodynamics are pretty cool and this is more like a futuristic concept that i'll look forward to the last concept vehicle that i wanted to show you was this now this is again another new company called as the zedro they've already been teasing on instagram about their their car launch that was going to happen at the motor show and that has exactly what has happened and don't be confused because the, the, the design to be honest seems a little familiar with the w motors the, the lycan hyper sport and the super sport but I'm not giving away any. I'm not taking the credit away from from them, but it's just that it, there there are striking you know similarities between the the cars. But the the most important bit about this car that I that I wanted to show was this. It's starting from sixty five thousand dollars. That's about it. And the best part about this car is it can, it can, every single detail can be customized. Is what they have said and you can pretty much customize everything and you can see there is an interior also so this is a ready prototype that they made inside you can see but it's a little crazy area so let me show you first the rims the rims are very cool and and they extend all the way almost like quite a bit if i'm honest six inches out from the the center and check this out now it may seem a little inspired from the infinity to be honest because there you go there you see a clock there is also that and it's pretty much taken away from the the qx70 the q50 the qx50 the infinity versions and i'm pretty sure that all of that is borrowed from there and it's also the automatic version this one but you can customize all of that and at the back as well there is this very aggressive design uh, that you see in the back there are these uh, design pins now I'm, I'm sure the air goes in here and then comes out from here to make it more streamlined and this there is this really uh, confusing thing that i found like there is this exhaust tip but there is no exhaust but there are two actual exhausts at the bottom so i don't know what is that going on but otherwise it's a very very wide car as well let me tell you these two these two arches are super wide and that makes the car really wide so those were the different concepts or the 
uh, cool cars or insane car designs that were put up at the motor show. I'm pretty impressed by this design out here, although it's very futuristic, but I'm hopeful that they find investors and this car comes into production because this, uh, I, I had a chat uh, with these guys uh, uh, behind the video as well and they seem pretty promising and pretty committed and I really hope like they find investors to start this production as well. Anyways, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come. Until we meet next time, bye-bye.